controversial Nigeria entertainer and the former activist Charles Chukwemeka Oputa, popularly known as Charlie Boy, has asked Nigerians to learn from Afghanistan, cares, and stop being over-religious. Record that the Taliban, a terrorist group which had been t uh, tormenting the South Asia country, finally took over the capital and has declared victory over the nation, causing many to flee and seeing the uh, desperate mothers throwing their babies over barbed wires for safety. Taking to his Instagram page to react, Charlie Boy called the attention of Nigerians to the fact that the churches in the nation have all shut down out of fear of the Islamic Taliban and that the pastors and overseers have all gone underground. Charlie Boy cited Turkey as an example, noting that the Middle East nation bridging Europe and Asia homed the great Apostle Paul and others but was overthrown and has become 99.9 Islamic asking Nigerians to wake up and desert the, the, the thought that Nigeria will never be overthrown because God is alive. The singer said over religious killed the, the saint in Turkey. According to him, he said all churches in Afghanistan has at today are shut down. I mean all of them. Pastors and overseers have all gone underground now. Cathedrals are empty. Religious folk says Nigeria can never be overthrown because God is alive. But I ask, do you think God loves Nigeria more than Afghanistan? Wake up. Stop deceiving yourselves over religiousness. Destroy the saint in Asia. Minor present a Turkey and post labors in, in that land suffered several damage as Turkey is more Islamic than even Southern Arabia today. Do you think God loves Nigeria more than Turkey? That was the old location of all ancient churches in the New Testament. Ha, huh, Nigeria is the Akon head of the last day revival. So hoping, so nothing can happen, they say. Let me ask you, is Nigeria written in the Bible? The answer is a capital no. But Turkey that hosted Apostle Paul, John and Co. is in the land was overthrown. In the land was overthrown, pardon. Turkey that is home to the 99.9% .9 churches in the New Testament was overthrown by radical Islam. And you are still blind to see this reality. Is it true that the spiritual Ekilasia church cannot be conquered, but the land that hosts her can be overtaken? The seven churches Jesus wrote later to in the book of Revelation were all located in Turkey, yet Turkey was overthrown by radical Islam. You still think the Nigerian fatal cannot be overtaken? Wake up, he said. Meanwhile, Nigerians have reacted to this one and said, Is this not evil way of causing problem in Islamic Emirates of Afghanistan by the Western terrorists? Afghanistan is a nation with 99% Muslims population. What is church doing in such nation? So, anyone who decided to change his or her own religion belief is to die? What of the Americans and others that abandoned Christ and embraced Islam? Who is killing them there? Is America not a Christian country? Your religion is really satanic. Fool, are there no mosque? France, Germany, and other Christian countries? Answer me. As you can see, Nigerians are attacking themselves now. If we don't wake up, we shall wake up one morning and start shouting, Hala, Hala. Now, only you go shout that one. No, my hand, not they. Someone just dropped that. Someone said, Yeah, we defeated their father in Benway and we will still defeat them till tomorrow. That is what Buhari and his people want to achieve now. Please remember that then Benway people 
that defeated Osman Danfodo carried charms to fight him. So, you people should begin to practice what your father did in the past. In Nigeria, we were millions of sorry in nigeria we have millions of churches and preachers that have been that have benefited instead we got frustrations that is if they don't kill you churches supposed to be shut down what we need is freedom biafra all right how can you talk like this and you want to be taken seriously biafra kill you there <laughs> okay someone said I can't just understand why Christians of today are so afraid to take up arms against the infidels who want to impose their own religions by force on us. Until we push back by the same arms, violent, what to Turkey and what is presently going on in Afghanistan, may before Nigeria, let us fight a good fight of faith. But this is not a surprise to you know. The word of God said that an oppressor will come after Jesus Christ just destroyed his good work and many shall follow him. Remember, a man was born 570 years after Jesus Christ. And since then, the whole world has not been at peace. But never mind, greater is in him that who is in them. He he that is in the world, we shall conquer them in Jesus' name. He said, Amen. All right, the Nigerians are still talking. Yes, because devil has taken over their land. May the good Lord continue to save and guide them in Jesus' name. Plato fought and killed Igbo because of our Safulani. They are your brothers in everything. Please do not fight them. Let there be peace. All right. Someone said, Mumu, idiot. If we kill you. So, guys, you've all heard it now. What? Kindly share your thoughts with us. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you have not. Also, give us a thumbs up. Thank you very much for stopping by. I really do appreciate it. Bye for now.